the Daily Show reunion, Stephen Colbert plays second fiddle to Jon Stewart. Despite not being on television regularly these days, Jon Stewart wields an enormous amount of cultural capital in the late-night television landscape. How else would an episode of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert supposedly devoted to Colbert's 20 years in late-night television become practically all about Stewart? Stewart seemed to make a fuss about dropping out of the limelight after he retired from The Daily Show in 2015, opening an animal sanctuary in New Jersey and growing a scruffy I am not on TV anymore beard. It has an old classic. But he hasn't he actually gone that far in fact, he has been on The Late Show eight times in less than two years, and even swung by his old stomping grounds on Comedy Central. Tuesday night's Late Show was billed and promoted heavily as a Daily Show reunion, with teaser photos appearing in the afternoon of Colbert and Stewart with four other former Daily Show correspondents Samantha Bee, Ed Helms, John Oliver, and Rob Cordray on a purpose-built set. This wasn't he actually that huge of a get? Everyone but Helms has already appeared on Colbert's Late Show, and Stewart seems to pop up on B.S. Full Frontal and Oliver's last week tonight whenever he has beckoned. It is likely that the real reason for the hype was May Sweeps, that special time of year when TV shows go all out to increase their ratings so they can raise advertising rates for the following season. Stewart has been on The Late Show several times before but never as a pre-announced guest, so the network world and T have seen ratings bumps from those appearances. Stewart's legacy can be felt strongly in the direction Colbert has taken the late show since Donald Trump's inauguration. Much has been made of his move in the anti-Trump direction, and how it is correlated with an increase in ratings over his main competition, the less politically minded Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. And indeed, Colbert's monologue felt cut from the same cloth as most of Stewart old daily show segments a mix of liberal outrage, pop culture references, and a dash of righteousness and it is clearly working for his audience. Whether the rest of the reunion was a success is harder to judge. The cold open sketch featured Stewart and Colbert delivering lunch to the Daily Show's new host, Trevor Noah, in a sketch with very little internal logic.